You know, wouldn't go swimming out there, but it's nice to look at. Oil. Yes. The porcupine in the road. I think this is what we want. Found a map. Ooh, it's warm. It's warm. That means it's working. Hello everyone, welcome and or welcome back to the channel. It is a new day. It has actually been several, several new days. I'm in a bit of a hurry to get out of the room right now because I was up until about 1 a.m. editing video and I got up at 7 a.m. this morning and continued editing video and we are really sort of pushing the 11 a.m. Uh, checkout time here. Uh, only real destination at the moment is Wayne National Forest in Ohio. Um, from there we will probably push on farther west. I don't know if I'm going to stay there tonight or not. It depends on what I find there. If it's nice and there's things to do, then I'll hang around. Otherwise, farther west. Uh, I am ready to go. We're going to get out of here. I never did get around to addressing the problem with the hub or the brake because I had a lot of work to do editing. I did, however, remove several stones from my tires that have been click, click, clicking their way into my subconscious for the past 200 miles. So that's going to be a little more comfortable ride. Uh, somewhere down the road here, we will we will get to that hub because I can't have that breaking or falling out of me. Sourcing one while on the road would be, would be difficult and I don't want to have to deal with that. All right, let's head out. The keys are in your pocket. A little rougher start, but I think we're good. We are here. We are in Wayne State Forest. I'm sorry, we are in Wayne National Forest. These are federal trees we're looking at here. The truck, despite the problem with the hub, has been running really well. For a little while there, I actually forgot about filming things and stopped worrying about the truck 
breaking and was actually able to enjoy myself for a while. But enough of that crap. Let's make content. I had a nice conversation with the man inside. Got myself a whole bunch of fancy reading materials, maps and such. We're gonna head for uh, I like caves. I just screamed samurai out the window to what I thought was a, uh, a Suzuki samurai driving by. Turns out it was a geo tracker. Now I'm embarrassed. truck when I'm stealing it. If here we come. Nearly tripping and killing myself. First step. It's always a good sign. This trail is quite steep and there were no steps of any kind. Oh no, which way do I go? This way. I went the wrong way. There are steps. I called it the wet right now, so it's probably slipperier than the in the other way, I appear to have stumbled onto an out here in the middle of nowhere on what is no more than an ATV trail, a vacuum. Among the stranger sights I've seen. Practically a four lane highway now.
so the lady in my phone just told me to slide left. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna turn left. Let's see what that does for me. Point of interest attempt number two. We are at the Monday Creek Trailhead. I fear that this is an ATV trail, not so much a walking trail. It's the thing here that says closed, not a designated trail. Does that mean not a designated ATV trail? Or not a designated people trail? I'm a peoples. Can peoples walk there? It appears to lead to somebody's backyard, so I'm gonna guess no. Peoples cannot walk there. So I say this is our uh, second attempt at a point of interest because our, our first one, I can't even tell you where, where it was because they don't want people to know that there is any sort of activity going on there right now. I uh, had a nice chat with the people there, probably honestly 45 minutes out there talking to the guys, men and women out there doing their jobs. So yeah, sorry that didn't work out, but glad that there are people there doing that work. Well, I think we're gonna abandon this trail. It really just looks like, looks like a muddy logging road that's been ripped up by ATVs. We're gonna head back. I actually, <laughs> I drove over roads that were much gnarlier than this to get here. Silly. Quad group of quads go through four four wheelers. Appear to be a couple of couples. Good to see them out here enjoying it. They're coming back. No, they're not. We're heading to another cemetery. A lot of the points of interest around here seem to be cemeteries. Strange. Why not? I'm sure it's quiet there. Change of our non-plan. There's a nature trail a couple miles up past the cemetery. So we're gonna go there instead. It's gonna be our third attempt at finding some attractions in the Wayne National Forest. Um, the first one was foiled by a bit of activity, official activity. Second one, it was just, it was a four-wheeler trail. This looks kind of nice. This is the, uh, Aura E. Anderson Wetland Trail. You know, I wouldn't go swimming out there, but it's nice to look at. There's supposed to be a trail here somewhere. That doesn't look like a trail. That looks like a drop off into a swamp. Trail, trail, trail. I'm sure there's a trail here somewhere. I think I'm over to check the truck. I did all the alignment on this by eye, which worries a lot of people, but you let off the wheel and this thing drives, it'll drive straight for miles. Also wanna check my hub. It is making some extra special noises now. Getting a lot of rattling from the hub over bumps, but it's just because this, they just don't fit well. I'm gonna epoxy that locking hub on there, which is what I did with the other side. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And how are you ever gonna get those off to repair them? With a hammer, that's how. Ugh. So, the truck broke. I neglected to make a, a real mount for my transmission cooler. The top of the bracket lined up, so I just tacked that. I'm guessing that vibrates or rattles quite a bit. Over the washboard and bumpy roads, it came loose and now it's only being held down by the top. So I'm gonna have to do something about that before I go anywhere, otherwise I'm gonna have my transmission cooler fall down, start dragging in the front, the lines will break, transmission fluid everywhere, catastrophe. And of course, half the work of doing any work on the truck is getting back to the tools. I put them as far back as I could, partly to keep the weight as far forward as possible and partly because I figured I wouldn't have to use them. Whoops. All right, let's see if we got the old box of tricks. Everything is sort of shifted. I haven't opened this in a while and uh, a lot of the stuff that was in the, the top fell to the bottom. But I think, I think this is what we want. I think that is gonna do the job for us. All right, transmission cooler, intended mounting point for the transmission cooler. I'm gonna keep it pointing straight down. If you do something like this and you have it this way and clipped at the end, the weight of this over bumps is gonna cause it to fall down and it might slip off. So do it so that the, uh, the weight is straight down. That way it has less chance of falling out of place as you're driving along. Ooh, that was a good click. There we go. I think that'll do. 
Hopefully that holds us. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. It's gonna be tough to get any any sort of fastener in there. See how it goes. Filming with my phone right now. Ooh, there's a dragonfly in my truck. How close can I get to the dragonfly before I scare it? It's a brave dragonfly. Or just knows I'm weak and non-threatening. Anyway. As I was about to drive away, I became concerned with my uh, trusty vice grips coming loose and falling off and bouncing down the road. So I took a minute to grab some uh, some bailing wire, tied it around, so if it does come loose, it'll just sort of hang there. I also did the same to the, the bottom of the transmission cooler. The vice grips are going to hold it firmly in place, and the uh, bailing wire is going to be the backup. I got this cool map. The ranger station shows me where all of the... National forest, national grasslands, and um, bureau land management lands are in the U.S. Yeah, my options really, if I want to continue camping, going much farther south, getting into uh, Georgia and Carolinas, and it, it would be the same. So I think what I might do, um, if you can look at this map, you'll see we are, where are we? Here, right now. From here, we could go down and continue this way, but I would have to swing all the way down and then back up through here to get to Alaska, which is not even on this map. It's way, way up, up that way. We might just sort of blow through that. I may not even stop. I may just pull over and, uh, and rest, or I might go through like Lincoln, Nebraska, slightly more southerly than head up the Rockies from Colorado. So yeah, not sure how much filming I'm going to do. And I doubt that you're going to want to see miles and miles and miles of cornfields or wheat fields. What we've seen so far on the East Coast, uh, this is pretty, this is sort of what the entire East Coast looks like. I'm going to get going here. I don't know when I will see you guys again, what state we will be in, but we will be farther west of that, I assure you. So, I sort of forgot what I put into the put into the GPS. Now I remember. Salem Cemetery. I didn't really put it into the GPS. It was just a point of interest. I'm like, sure, we'll breeze by there. It's well maintained. There's flowers here, so the people still visiting. Not a terrible spot to end up. <laughs> 